Today is gonna be an awesome and exciting day. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So recently I have bought the Bright Full Bucket Seat and the Takara 4 point harness seat belt online and today I'll be installing all of them into my NFRA Forte. So this is a full bucket seat, I won't be able to adjust the backrest, I won't be able to incline or decline the backrest. So the sitting position will be at a fixed position. So these two stuff which I bought only cost me less than $350 including the shipping fee and the reason why they are so cheap is because they are not authentic, they are not real, they are replica. And the reason why I have gotten a full bucket seat is because whenever I'm doing a hard cornering, I'm sliding all over on my stock seat as the stock seat is very wide and the side support is really low. So it doesn't hold me really well in the seat. So having a full bucket seat, it will secure you really well. It will make you feel really snug and sit really deep in into the seat because of the high side support and wide shoulder support. So when I bought this seat, it comes with the slider, but it doesn't come with the mounting brackets. So in order to install the seat into my Enfra Forte, it requires the mounting brackets. So later I'll be heading to the fabrication shop to fabricate the mounting brackets. So in the market, there are a lot of colors of bright bucket seats. There's red, there's blue, there's black, and you're able to choose the color of the center gradient, like the original white and gray, and also black. So I've decided to go for both black as my interior like the side door panels and my dashboard is black in colour. So I bought the Takara 4 points 100 seat belt and the reason why I don't want to use the stock seat belt is because the stock seat belt will be resting against the bucket seat. So after a prolonged usage, the surface of the bucket seat will be torn and the inner cushion will be exposed. So I don't want to create any wear and tear issues for my bucket seat. So right now let's head to the fabrication shop to fabricate the brackets for my bucket seat. Alright guys, right now I'm again at Fong Kim Exhaust getting my mounting bracket fabricated. It's never easy to fabricate a mounting bracket because there are a lot of work to be done like drilling of the brackets, bending of the brackets and welding of the brackets. So as welding work is very tedious and I doesn't have the welding equipment and the welding tools, so I'll be leaving the welding works to the professionals as they are able to do a better job than me. So later they will be installing the seat and I can't wait to see the new bucket seat in my NFR Forte. Oh, my God. 
Alright guys, as you guys can see, the stop seat has been removed from the car and right now they are taking the measurements in the car so that they are able to fabricate the mounting brackets for my bucket seat. Alright guys, so right now those guys are welding the mounting brackets. So for the past 30 minutes, we have been trying to adjust the seat, making sure that the seat angle is at the right position. So in order to have a comfortable seating position, the angle of the seat is really important. Alright guys, right now I'm back home from the workshop earlier I was at Fonkim Exhaust getting the mounting brackets fabricated for my bucket seat So right now the full bucket seat has been installed in my NFR Forte Earlier when I was on the way back home from the workshop The driving experience is amazing It's just like driving a totally different car So it's a whole new level of driving experience So right now I'll be installing the 4-point harnesses into my NFR Forte So the 4-point harnesses consist of two shoulder belts and two lap belts so these two shoulder belts will be going through the top of the seat which is right here 
and those two LED belts will be going through the side of the seat and the four point harnesses will be secured and clicked on to the eye boat which has been bolted down to the chassis so right now let's get the work start Alright guys, so I have fully installed the 4 points harnesses sit down and also adjusted those straps and initially I wanted to drill 4 holes at the back of the mounting bracket to secure the eye bolt but the most strongest point is the chassis mounting for the usage of the sit down so I have clipped on the 4 points harnesses sit down onto the eye bolt which secured down to the chassis and right now I'll be heading out to test the performance of the full bucket sit Right now, what all I can say is I'm very very satisfied with my full bucket seat. As I mentioned earlier in today's video, the full bucket seat will keep me snug and secure. Although this is a non-adjustable one, but I'm still feeling very comfortable in the full bucket seat. So because of the high side support and the wide shoulder support, it allows me to sit in really deep into the seat. And I'm sitting about 2 inches low compared to the stock seat. So right now with the new setup, it doesn't require much effort for me to keep myself in the seat. It holds me up really well in the seat and I'm able to feel the support on my butt, on my shoulder. So I'm able to focus on my driving and lining when I'm going around the corners. The additional advantage of having a full bucket seat is weight savings. 10kg has been shaved off from my NFR Forte as the full bucket seat only weighs about 10kg and the stock seat weighs about 20kg. I would say there are more pros than cons having a full bucket seat. So one thing that I really dislike about the full bucket seat is it's really pain in the ass to get in and out of the car because of the high side support. 
So this is the reason why I only install one full bucket seat in my Enfra Forte as I doesn't want to cause any inconvenience to my family or friends who take my ride. Alright guys, so that's all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I would like to shout out to Fong Kim Exhaust for the great work by fabricating the mounting brackets for my NFL Forte. I'm really really happy with the new setup. I would recommend to those who like to play corners or taking corners like No Tomorrow as it really gives you the confidence and I'm sure you'll definitely enjoy the ride. And also please do remember to like and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay safe, ride safe, drive safe and bye!